Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK and today we are talking about documenting our children's learning. So I'm just going to talk in this video about how I document our children's learning and then if you see anything in there that you like the sound of um, then of course give it a go um, or it might give you some ideas of how to try your own. The first ways I have used in the past to document what we've done and to kind of just keep um, a record of it, obviously we use workbooks and worksheets and we do projects and stuff that gives us something physical to um to have and i keep those i date to everything the day that we do it i date it um and um then i then i've got it and then i put it in folders but for the other things now if you're doing if you're unschooling you might not have that every single day maybe you might only have it once a week or once a month like you, your kid might fancy doing worksheet and then you only have you don't have that all the time so but there's other ways of documenting them doing their learning and when they were very young I would have a checklist in my head English, Math, Science, something creative and I would be like oh they've done we we read some science today English tick we did baking today so we did maths tick uh, which you know we we looked at a plant and we pulled it apart when we were out on our walk and we had a look inside and we talked about it. That's science. Creative, we collected all those plants that we did and then we stuck them to a piece of paper and we made a picture. And that's my evidence. And then I, you know, and it's it feels like it's not learning, but all of that is really educational. So I would then take something like this academic diary and I would just, and I've, I've got it like this, so it's um, a week for a double page spread and then say that happened that happened on Monday I would write and I'd have a different color for each child so say I used purple for Charles because it's his favorite color I would write um, English math science down the side or maybe I would get stickers like potentially um, I go to my favorite sticker shop schmooze stickers on Etsy and ask her to custom make me some stickers with their names and then English math science creative kind of thing and then I would just write what they did or I just write some sentences like a diary um Charles did this Charles did this Charles did this Charles did this Bessie did this Bessie did that and then she did this and Albert did this and so on and then just keep it keep a record of it as much as possible it doesn't matter if you do it every day but just as much as possible so it can be seen um or you can keep another kind of diary where you do a page a day and then write it in there or anything like that um, and you can use any kind of recording basically you could have a facebook group that's a really good idea that lots of people have used um i always forget to upload onto ours so we just don't do it anymore um so we have we had a facebook group we called it little leopard learning uh, because we all that's like our family nickname and then we could just put pictures on this is what they did this is what they learned from this experience and um include a picture because you can always if someone from your local authority comes and says can you show me evidence of their learning you can add them to that group temporarily and let them see what they've been getting up to and then you can delete them <laughs> um or you could keep them on there if you felt like it um, and then another way that I'm starting using um, for this um, term, I suppose, for spring, is this Home Ed Planner by Twinkle. And you know that I love Twinkle. Um, so it says here, welcome to your 12 month Home Ed Planner. Those planning pages were created in consultation with the members of our Twinkle Home Educators Facebook group. We hope you find them useful for all your weekly plans. Um, so it's got some notes and 10 things I'd like to achieve this year and then this is an example of the planning pages so you've got home ed key dates to-do list resources budget and then you've got Monday today's aim what went well what do we need to work on and you've got those for every single day of the week and then notes at the bottom and then on the side you've got weekly targets quotes of the week joyful memories and future ideas and I'm going to be using this Hang on, oh, I've disappeared, there we go. Um, we're gonna be using this going forward because I feel like it's really um, useful, but also we always have our workbooks and things which I will keep um, going forward as well. So, but for things that are not evidenced in a workbook or in a piece of art or some other kind of curriculum, I will write it down in this book and then, um, and I'll put a sticker on it saying 2021 
and then I will make sure I have one every single year. Um, also, you can put the date yourself up the top there, so you, you can start it any time. Whereas, obviously, an academic diary or a calendar diary, you have to kind of. There's not much point in starting it halfway through the year um, if you use a regular diary. Um, so those are the ways we do it. There are some apps that I've seen, but one of them was like a subscription service, and it wasn't really that great. Um, there are some American apps that are a bit more kind of school based where you can do report cards and set assignments and that sort of thing and I really didn't like that I felt like it was creating far too much eff far too much work and it was just far too much effort when you could just do something a bit more simply um yeah I really, I really don't think especially in our house we didn't need something that was that um that in depth um so I've included links to the resources that I've used to document their learning below and um, I will give you some examples of um, how we keep everything together as well. So I don't know if you can see, we've got these calaxes and just there, this one, this cubby hole here, that's where we keep all of our stuff. We have um, a tray in there and we keep all of our current home ed stuff in there so the children know where they are and then to the side of it is some pink folders and when work has been completed if it's just a loose worksheet not in a book i'll put them in there i'll date them and put them in there and then um at the end of the year i will bind them and put a front cover on that says my work in 2021 and um then they will um they will get put in a box in the loft so each child will have their own sealed box um for them to look back on it's not something i've done um in the past but this year is what i'm starting to do is i'm going to keep it all and make their book a book of my year and um of all the projects and things that they've done so they can look back on um i had all of this stuff from school when i was a kid and i actually am really sad because i threw it all away when we moved house um because I didn't want to be reminded of my childhood and now I'm like oh it would have been really nice to look at all my school reports um, and see some of the artwork I did and that sort of thing when I was a child and and, and I'm sad that I threw it away so um, I am going to keep all of those things for them and then they can choose um, and if they if they don't want it I'll keep it for them <laughs> when they're older. So thank you very much for joining us on our um, on our a journey and for coming and watching this video don't forget to subscribe hi lily <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like this kind of home ed content i will see you in the next video bye